Hello, my name is Kevin Ricardo. I am the lead educator for Bronx Works. I am presenting the Stellar Farmers Market Curriculum for the Nutrition Education Capacity Program. For today's presentation, I will be presenting my plate guidelines for healthy eating. Let's start off with how the old my pyramid is compared to my plate. This used to be how the my plate used to look. It had different categories and it was a pyramid walking up the steps for people to reach their goal or their healthy eating goals for the day. Now it's called my plate and you can access this information and in the graphic of the plate by visiting choosemyplate.gov. You can see that there are different sections for your plate. It has fruits, grains, vegetables, protein, and dairy. For today's presentation, there are three main concepts to understand. The first one is balance, calorie intake, also known as eating, and output, which is exercise. Number two, increase healthy foods. And number three, decrease unhealthy foods. Balance calorie intake and output. Balance the calories you take in through eating with the ones you burn through exercise. Do not eat more than you burn and do not burn more than you eat. Portion control. Enjoy your food but eat less. Avoid oversized portions. It takes about 20 minutes for your stomach to tell your brain you're full. Decrease portion sizes. The bigger the portion, the more people tend to eat. Enjoy foods, but eat less. In this graphic, you can see on the scale, if you eat 100 extra calories per day, that would equal to 10 extra pounds per year. Physical activity plus a healthy diet will equal a healthy you. Moderate aerobic activity increases breathing and heart rate somewhat. Vigorous aerobic activity greatly increases heart rate and breathing. Can you guess how much weekly physical activity adults age 18 and over do for substantial health benefits? A. 30 minutes of moderate intensive activity five times per week b 15 minutes of vigorous intensive activity five times per week c either a or b the answer is c either a or b why not watch and work out if you are a busy person and you or you want to spend some time watching television you can exercise and watch TV at the both times so that you can get your daily exercise and also entertain yourself. Topic number two, increase healthy foods. Make half your plate fruits and vegetables. Make at least half your grains whole grains. Switch to fat-free or low-fat dairy products. Eat more nutrient-dense foods. Examples of nutrient-dense foods are vegetables or fruits, whole grains, seafood, eggs, dry beans and peas, unsalted nuts and seeds, fat-free, low-fat milk, milk products, lean meats, poultry, when prepared without adding solid fats, sugars, or salts. Nutrient-dense, not calorie-dense. Baked chicken breast, you can see in blue, has 138 calories, while breading and frying has another 108 calories. Breaded fried chicken strips, 3 ounce, is 246 calories. It is recommended to take off the breading and frying because it increases your calorie intake and Instead, just having the baked chicken as your meal, just because it's much more healthier and you're not adding extra calories to your meal. Nutrient-dense, not calorie-dense. 
unsweetened applesauce is 105 calories added sugars is 68 calories so in total sweetened applesauce one cup 173 calories if you do not add any additional sugars to your applesauce if you're making this applesauce at home which we do have a video on making applesauce from your own produce that is purchased in the farmers market you do not have to add an extra sugar to that recipe you can just eat the applesauce from its natural sugar that it has so it's recommended just to have an unsweetened applesauce so that you can have less calories intake fill half your plate with fruits and vegetables as you can see half the plate should be either fruits or vegetables of your choosing limit foods high in sodium added sugars and refined grains switching to fat free or low fat 1% milk makes a difference for example whole milk has 165 calories while 2% milk has 125 calories 1% milk has 100 calories and fat free milk has 85 calories as you can see the the percentage of milk the 2% 1% fat free each time you go lower and lower in fat or percentage it decreases the calories topic number three decrease unhealthy foods compare sodium in foods like soup bread and frozen meals and choose the foods with lower numbers drink water instead of sugary drinks easy ways to decrease sodium check labels avoid adding salt an exception may be when baking yeast breads eat fresh foods frozen veggies request salt be left off when eating out use other seasonings can you guess how much sodium is in one cup of this food a 30 milligrams b 250 milligrams c 470 milligrams the answer is c 470 milligrams of sodium lastly decrease your sugar sweetened beverage intake drink fewer sugar sweetened beverages consume smaller portions substitute with water unsweetened coffee and tea and other beverages with few or no calories remember to stop by from 10 a.m to 4 p.m every thursday to shop locally and get your fresh fruits and vegetables so you can make these healthy recipes at home when you stop by remember to go to the outreach table so that you can watch these virtual videos and receive health bucks so that you can use it at the farm stand we accept cash debit credit fmnp coupons health bucks and ebt or snap as well if you haven't already seen the cooking recipe videos, check them out and remember to like and comment below. Hope you join us next time. Bye.